Hi guys, it's Sophie. Um, how are you doing? I hope you're all well. Uh, I'm, I look real tired, which I guess I am a little. I'm filming this on the same day. I have the same beer as in my last video. But I changed my shirt for you guys. This is my friend's band. So yeah, so that's great. Um, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm not doing a book video. <gasps> Gasp. Okay. <laughs> this might be boring. I guess we're gonna see. We're doing empties! That's the thumbnail. Okay. Um, so I want to expand this channel a little bit. Um, I'll do a video all about that, but uh, I want to... Um, Kind of deal with my shopping addiction and yeah it's a big one it's a tough one um but i'm addicted to stuff i'm addicted to shopping and i don't like that about myself so i'll make a whole separate video sort of starting that journey but i want to start doing empties and just see because i love skincare and other thingies to put on your face and on your body um and I just kind of want to document what I use, what I use up. So what is kind of worth the money and what isn't, how long it takes me to use a product so I can kind of work out if I'm spending X amount on a product, um, does that last me only a month or does it last me six months? So that's why I'm kind of going through this journey and I love watching this kind of content to sort of, it's calming, you kind of zone out and at the same time, maybe you're getting some product recommendations, but it's really more about I don't know, chilling and going on this exploratory journey with me. So I hope you enjoy it uh, and let's just, let's get into it. So the first product I have here is a dry shampoo. It's just a Dutch drugstore home brand shampoo. So it's very cheap. Whoa. Um, I use so much of this stuff. I use it probably 50% of days, uh, maybe more. Because uh, my hair gets really greasy and I try not to wash it too often. Um, and I didn't like this one. The shitty thing is, is that I bought this for the first time and it was two for one. So I have a full backup of this. And my rules for myself are that I don't get to purchase a product if I have it. Like I only get to repurchase something or replace it when it's all finished. So I'm going to have to <laughs> work through another whole bottle of this. Which shows me that I shouldn't buy backups of things that I haven't tried. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this I wouldn't recommend. It was cheap though. And I go through this quickly. So I hate spending even 5 euros on a thing like this. Because usually it only lasts me a month. Uh, oh yeah, that reminds me. I've not filmed, but I've photographed, saved up and photographed my empties from the last two months. So I might insert them here, just the pictures, so you can see. Maybe not. Uh, but I'll definitely, at some point over the next few months, I'll go back and sort of look at all of my empties and sort of report back to you like how long it actually takes me to go through products and what that means in terms of finance or what I would recommend um, buying or what I wouldn't. Okay, then I have a bottle of brush cleaner. I get, oh, I get to do like YouTube beauty guru stuff, except it's not focusing at all. Okay, whatever. Brush cleaner. This again is like Hema, which is a Dutch store. Uh, it's in some other countries as well, maybe it's in your country. But it's a brush cleaner. This took me years to use up. I think I've had this bottle for at least four years. Sorry, I'm gonna look there. I had this bottle for at least four years. Um, it's finally done. Also, you don't need brush cleaner. Uh, from now on, I'm just going to clean my makeup brushes with soap. You know? So, I'm not going to repurchase. Okay. Then we've got this sexy one. Uh, this is called uh, Tent Skin Solution. There we go. Um, Tent Skin Solution. It's... Um, Basically a fuck ton of alcohol and some uh, probably acids, salicylic acid and stuff in a bottle. Um, 
to use after shaving for ingrown hairs. So me and my partner use this uh, on the areas that we trim or shave and it works actually. We both get really bad ingrown hairs and bumps and stuff from shaving or trimming and uh, this has really helped. It is really aggressive because it has so much alcohol in it and I think, and it's also expensive for like the shitty ingredients that are in here. So I think what I'm gonna do instead of repurchasing it is just use my AHA um, serum or toner on it and see if that does the job. So we'll see. Okay, then I have a hair product. I have this uh, Amica um, Reset Pink Charcoal Scalp Cleansing Oil. So I kind of changed up my hair routine a few months ago. My hair gets very greasy and very itchy. Um, and I struggle with volume. My hair is very, very straight, so it's hard to get volume. Um, so what I've started doing is using a product like this that is to really cleanse but also nourish the scalp uh, and then use um, a texture shampoo, but I'll talk more about this once it appears in my empties and I'm sure it will over the next few months. And that routine has really saved my both my scalp and also um, my volume issue. So that's great, but this is expensive and very hard to get in Holland. So I don't think I'm going to repurchase this, but I'm going to try some other scalp treats, treatments and see how I feel. I'm already using a different one that is working better for um, greasiness. So this was nice. I do recommend it, but yeah. Um, then I have some really boring shit. I have two toothpastes. Toothpastes. You know them. This is a home brand one, this is Elmex. Um, I am mostly cruelty free. Uh, there are some products in here that are not cruelty free, like this. Um, so I'll try to remember to mention it and I'm, I'm just using up what I have and phasing out buying cruelty free products, um, except for this toothpaste and the deodorant that I use that is not in here, but I'll show you probably next month. Um, because I've tried a lot of different toothpaste and deodorants and most of the sort of cheap, effective brands are not unfortunately cruelty free and I just, I know what I like and I, I love experimenting with skincare and hair care and different things but toothpaste and deodorant are just these staples that I, I'm gonna stick to. So those are the two exceptions that I'm gonna make in my sort of cruelty free journey. Um, so yeah, these I, we used up two this month, um, me and my partner together. And then along this, along the same vein, we used up a bottle of, um, home brand, um, store brand mouthwash, mouthwash, you know, clean your, clean your mouth. Um, then I have a bottle of Bioderma micellar water. I, um, Try to do a double cleanse at night. So use an oil-based cleanser to remove makeup and SPF and grime, uh, and then a normal cleanser. Um, I'm often too lazy. And to get a clean face, I use micellar water with a cotton pad. I also use it to remove eye makeup um, and stuff. So I do use this just to ensure that I clean my face at least a little bit or yeah, to remove extra makeup. This is also not cruelty free. I have another bottle of this. I had a backup of this. So I'm, I'm using up the last bottle of this now and then I'll switch to cruelty free brands. Okay, then I have this soap. I think it's not focusing because it's yellow, but uh, this is a Dr. Browner's 18 in one, excuse me, what? 18 in one citrus orange pure castile soap for body, hands and more. Um, this was a gift from my mom. Uh, my partner and I used it in the showers, like a shower gel. I didn't like it. Um, it has a lot of pretty intense fragrance, which I don't use in like face skincare because my skin is sensitive and fragrance is not good for your skin. Uh, I don't mind it so much in body care because the skin's more sensitive, but uh, less sensitive. But it was a lot. And also it had that really drying soapy ness to it that makes me feel like the ph is too high and it dries out your skin you know like you rub it into your skin and then you wash it off and then your skin is like 
hate that. And it's also very runny. So I actually didn't like any of this and we kind of had to, you know, grit our teeth and bury it kind of thing. But it was free and it was fine and it's gone now. Okay. I'm doing this in no order, by the way, as you can tell. But whatever. Okay, then I used up this um, Neutrogena hand cream. Oh, so annoying. It's the Neutrogena um, hand cream, whatever, Norwegian formula. Uh, super concentrated. Uh, this is also not cruelty free, so I won't be repurchasing this. It is nice. Uh, it's very, very um, hydrating. Uh, it's super concentrated, so it says you only have to use a little bit, but if you do, it's hard to rub it all into your hands. So I wouldn't buy it for that purpose. Um, but like I said, it's not cruelty free, so I cannot recommend it. And I replaced it with something else. Um, then I have the vanilla Clean It Zero cleansing balm that also will not focus. This is from Vanilla Co, which is a Korean skincare brand. Um, Korean brands are excellent. This has a fragrance, which I did not realize. It's a wash off treatment, so I don't mind it as much as like a normal thing. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't repurchase it for that reason. It was nice, like it feels nice. It does the job of removing makeup quite well. But I also feel like I won't be buying cleansing balms anymore because most of them have some form of plastic in them, which I don't like going through the drains and into our oceans and coral reefs and drinking water. So that's not great. Um, and you go through them very quickly. So I replaced this with a cleansing oil and we'll see how I like that. Then I have another Korean product. This is the Pyung Kang Yul Essence Toner. Um, it looks really stylish and beautiful. This was very nice. It was very, very hydrating. Um, I prefer actually a toner or an essence that I can spray onto my face. I did decant this into a spray bottle, but it was too thick, so it wouldn't like diffuse properly. So you can't spray this. I did finish it, took me a long time, so a little goes a long way. And it's nice, but um, I won't be repurchasing it for that same reason. Um, then I've got this product. This is the Time Stop collagen ampule from the plant base also a korean brand um i got this on sale i just wanted to try it but um it's like a mushroom extract plant thing uh which was you know nice plumping i didn't really uh, get a lot of results and i prefer actually like a more you know established scientific evidence-based skincare routine so i i won't be repur repurchasing this also it's kind of expensive because it has only 20 mils um, so fine, fine products, but whatever. Um, these used to hold uh, a set of plastic um, toothpicks that have made my gums healthier. So recommend using plastic toothpicks. I know they're not great for the environment, but they're good for your health. Um, I have one, uh, one thing of 80 um, cotton pads that I use mostly with my micellar water. Not the most sustainable option, but also not the worst. I don't know. It's, it's biodegradable. Um, but yeah, I will be, once I finish the ones that I still have going, uh, I might be looking into replacing them with some washable options. So we'll see. I have two makeup products. I have the I have the e.l.f. Um, brow, wow brow, hello. The e.l.f. wow brow, which is their uh, tinted brow gel. Um, this was fine, it didn't really hold and it has uh, a lot of fibers, which I don't like, but the color was fine, it did the job, will not repurchase. And then I have a mascara. Yeah, so this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, this is also not cruelty free, so I won't repurchase this. Also, I didn't like it. I felt like it irritated my eyes. It didn't really do anything special and it was way too expensive. There's actually still some left in here, but it's kind of dried out and I just hated it. 
Uh, and then I left my two favorite products for last. <laughs> so I used up a tube of this. It's another Korean skincare product. This is a Purito uh, Deep Sea Pure Water Cream. It's, oh, I love these water creams because they are super moisturizing. Um, but this one also has niacinamide, uh, which is a lovely uh, ingredient, one of my favorites. And it's very like moisturizing, but also lightweight. You can layer it really well. And it was really, really lovely. And it's good value for money. And I love that you don't have to like dig into a pot. And then from the same brand, this is my holy grail sunscreen. I recommend this to everyone. They also have a, chem a phys this is a chemical sunscreen. They also have a physical version that I haven't tried yet, but I, and it was sold out, but I really want to try it. This is their Centella Green Level Unscented Sun, SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. Um, and this, the, their scented one has essential oils in them, which is quite strong. It's sensitizing. I don't recommend it, but this um, fragrance free one is, is epic. Um, so it has UVA, UVB protection. Um, it doesn't leave a white cast. It's super, super moisturizing. So you can actually even wear this just as a moisturizer if you like. It's not sticky, it's not oily. It doesn't break me out. Uh, so I, I get acne on my chin, uh, hormonal acne, which is sometimes triggered by chemical sunscreens, but not this one. These Korean ones are very like high tech and advanced. Um, yeah, and this is soothing because it has the Centella Asiatica. It's super lovely and I love it. It's This is weird for me to film this video. Probably way too long. Yeah, super long. I don't know. Let me know. Give it a thumbs up or leave a comment if you like this or what you think I could do to improve them. Um, I will, if anyone cares, I'll keep doing this monthly or at least I'll make photos and lists for my own um, sort of learning process um, and I'll report back in a few months to sort of see what the whole trajectory looks like and I would love to um, I'd love to share with you guys like my skincare routine uh, so let me know if you want to see that and uh, yeah maybe I'll do some budget and um, consumerism and no buy videos over the next few months so keep an eye out and take care see you soon ciao